Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a little tutorial for Bulwark. Like, if this helped, dislike or comment if you didn't, and let's go. First up on our list is how to actually sign up for a fight. Um, I wouldn't do this just yet if you're just starting the game. Um, there's some stuff that you should know about fighting before you do. So, basically the way to sign up though, is you click on this little paper right here. You see my name up here. Uh, team fight is basically a 2v2. And dual queue is just a one-on-one. -on -one. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to know about combat, very easy, is just how to slash. So, all you do is you come up to the person and you give them slash. Now, there are most weapons, I think on all of them actually, there are two different slashes. So, for your first slash, it's going to be a slash from the right. And then your second one is going to be a slash from the left. This can kind of be useful to know where you're going to slash from. Okay, so here we have an angry dummy who's going to attack me when I get close to him. Um, what you can do is you can parry. Like so. And that'll actually damage him. Okay, so if you're wondering how to parry, all you have to do is... It says it right here. Um, when your opponent is about to strike you, so they come in for like this, all you have to do is when they're about to hit you, hit R. And it will parry. It used to be called uh, repost. But, um, so you parry. And then they will be damaged and pushed back from you. So, one interesting thing is you see this parry dummy. If I try to hit him, he's going to parry me no matter what. Because that's his parry dummy ability. Um, but one thing you can do is you can actually kick these guys. If you kick somebody while they're parried, um, it will actually damage them. So, if they parry you, uh, then you can kick them. Now, another thing you can do is that when you're about to slash somebody, and you know that, you know, they're going to parry you, because a lot of people do it, um, you can do something called a feint. So, this is going to be Q on your keyboard. So, you're going to slash, and then you're going to hit Q. And it will actually stop it. And so, they'll probably parry, and you can just give them a kick. Okay, now one thing that you do need to know, when you're blocking like this, it's not always recommended, because, let's say this guy's blocking, I punch him, it is going to do the same thing as if I got reposted, or parried. So, it is recommended that you do not do this, but it can help if you can't, you know, parry. So, one interesting thing you can do with your weapon is that you can hit X and you will actually flourish your weapon. And this isn't like going to do anything for you, but it's just kind of cool. Alright, so now I'm going to show you parrying in an actual game. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I'm going to parry on this guy. Uh, so that's how you do it. He just tried to parry me. Ooh! That's your arm, buddy. Alright, there we go. So, that is how you parry. Uh, we'll now move on to fainting and how it can actually work to help you. Alright, so here's how we're going to use faint. Oh, see? Bam, boom. We just got that guy. So, because the maul is such a heavy weapon. Whenever you swing this bad baby, it's going to take a while to pull back. So, it's very easy to parry because you're swinging and they're just going to go, boom. And you've just gotten parried. So, what you want to do is you want to hit Q right before you're about to swing. And they will most likely parry or they'll do this. And you can punch them or kick them. And so, it works very well. Uh, what I recommend is fainting twice and then going for the swing if they didn't do you the first time now sometimes things called conquests will happen i'm actually very lucky to have this happen um in the server if you've stayed in it long enough you will actually have a conquest going on so as you can see these guys are running out i'm gonna be going there with them but it's actually like kind of like an event i'd say um like a capture the flag mixed with domination but it's just like one place and so you see this green and the yellow the green is whoever has the most score the yellow is your score so this happens semi often 
I'd say. But it's honestly pretty fun. And you, I think you do gain some money from it, so. I'd recommend it. So one advantage to having a lighter weapon when you're playing Conquest is that you will actually run faster. I'll let you guys know it is possible to kill anybody with any weapon in this game. Beast. Obviously looking very disappointed on the battlefield. Oh, get sought. Just a better fist player. They call me the fister. Alright, one thing I cannot stress any more when you don't, aren't using fists, of course. Watch your stamina. This little bar here, if that hits zero... And you're, no, you know, you're blocking like this, and they hit you, your weapon's gonna go flying and hit the floor. And you gotta go pick that up. They're probably gonna murder you by then. So, watch your stamina. Alright, so one thing about this game that I find interesting is that if you play dirty, like spamming, then you will get dirty. I've been a little bit dirty before, and uh, it was kinda sad. So you see this guy, right? He's, he's pretty pretty nasty. Get him out of here. You oh oh this guy's much worse. Ooh. So if you don't want to end up like that, then you will have to run from here over here. I mean you can still end up like that, but basically to get rid of that, you will have to run all the way here across the map. You will go to the outskirts. Once you say that, you n you know you're in the right place. You will take a right here, this like little stone, and then you'll just keep down this little path. And over here, there should be a guy who is selling soap for fifty dollars. You will come over here. Here he is, and you'll be like, "Hey man, need some soap? We'll just come over here." And it should say clean armor. And if you don't want to end up dirty, don't be a dirty player. I hate to see dirty players, alright? Especially when I'm fighting them. It kind of sucks. So, if you don't know where any places are, I'll show you right now. So, this one is the barber. You can get your hair color done. You can get your hair changed. I just spent, like, a lot of money. But, I think it's random. I don't remember. Um, but there's also these... So, you know, you can buy whatever you want there. Now, over here is the shop. This contains your weapons and your armor. And last but not least, we have the, the dummy area. This is just across from the armory and from there. So, yeah, those are basically the only locations you need to know. And, um... I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, if it did, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. And uh, give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, I'm fine with that. And I'll see you guys later.